Hello again everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. This afternoon I've been playing with this suite, the Coffee Cafe. I absolutely love it. It is on page 30 and 31 of this new catalog. I love the ribbon, I love the embellishments. Just a really, really fun set. So, if you're a new customer in order from me, uh, $25 in product, you're going to get two free card kits. Watch the video at the end of this one, and I'm going to send you a brand new catalog. You'll also get on the list to receive a free holiday catalog that's coming up. Um, so, I incorporated with the Coffee Cafe right here. And this is, look at that, oh, I love these little beans. I made a straw. I had so much fun with this set. I love the little ice cubes. Um, I incorporated our sheet music background stamp. This is a large stamp. Whenever I get a background stamp, I always get it wood mounted so that I have something nice and solid or I don't need to mount it. And then a lot of times I'll use my Misty with something like this. But this is a very large stamp. The coffee and the music reminded me of my grandmother's house when she would play the piano and all of the family would get together and we'd have dessert and coffee. And so this is what kind of inspired me to make these little ditties uh, today, these cards. I love this. It, look what I did. I ran it through the stitched and I used the square stitched because of the music and I was thinking of the sheet music being square. I loved doing the little straw here and all of the little elements. Remember with this set, the framelit does cut out a the cup on the DSP, a couple of the little cups. Here's the other one that I made. Life happens, coffee helps. Love it. And I used one piece back here. I used our little corrugated elements, some ribbon, and, and um, our little elements here that I cut out with the big shot. Uh, the little cups. I think they are just adorable. So my background with this is pear pizzazz, and it is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And I just, let's remove all of this, and I just folded it like that landscape style. It opens like a book. Now you can see on this card, I have a flat background, which that looks fine, but I loved running this through the embossing folder, the sparkle. I think it really made the car, or, or the card, um, right here, the sparkle embossing folder. I really think that it made that background. So even though, yes, I like this, I like this a whole lot better. Okay. So what I did, our first layer is um, early espresso, and it's five and a quarter by four. And I adhered that down already with snail. And then I'm going to take this little piece right here. I just um, inked up my sheet music with the early espresso, and I just took a piece of crumb cake, put it down on it, and pressed it and let it take uh, the image right there. I love it. Um, I, it goes like this. Okay? So these have kind of cocked off to the side, this one I'm going to design with you. I think I'm going to put it right here in the middle. And this is the way that I start to design something. I just kind of lay it out. I stamp all my pieces. I love this little cup. Happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. I made a lid for this one. And this is going to have the little heart, little tab at the top. Isn't that cute? Let's attach that right now. So I'll get some Tombow. And I'm going to attach this right to our lid, right here. Cute. I'm just going to let that dry. Okay? Now, then I, I made little beans, and I'm going to place them with some mini dimensionals. Let's see how we're going to place those. I think like that. I like that one kind of hanging off there, but I'm going to use my ribbon also. So let's see what we can do here. I do want to put my ribbon down. I'm going to bring that in right there. And I hate that they retired our stapler, but I still use our mini stapler 
So whatever kind of a little mini stapler you can get, they have them at the dollar store for a buck. They have all kind of little mini staples in them. And I just staple it right there. Cute. And now this I'm going to pop up with some dimensionals here on our background. When I know that I really want something, like when I know that that's okay, that's the design I want, I just start putting it down and then working with everything around it. I really love this uh, suite. I see a lot of nice little craft items coming out of this for my craft shows coming up in November. I can't believe we're already talking about Christmas. Of course, we do have that Christmas in July special. I did the video for you guys. I felt it best just to go ahead and get everything on video so that then, you know, you could make a decision on what you guys wanted to order or what you wanted to do, you know, for the upcoming holiday season. Okay, now I'm going to get my little cup here. And I want this right here, okay? So I'm going to run a bit of Tombow right there. Just a little bit. Maybe. There we go. And we're going to put this on. Put our lid on. How cute is that? This I got a little bit off. Let's see if I can't move it. Okay. Better. Good. Now this I'm also going to pop up with dimensionals. And let's see. So, and I'm going to, again, right here on this, I'm going to just split the difference with the larger dimensionals. Put a couple down here, and we're good to go with that. You know, if you're looking even for office gifts, I think these little cups are just fantastic. And now I'm going to angle this over the music just like that. Oh, how cute. Now I'm going to use our mini dimensionals on the little beans right here. I love these little mini dimensionals. It's exactly what we needed. I'm just going to put one in the middle. That's all we need. And I'm going to bring this bean. I think I'm going to put that right there. Huh. I didn't think I was going to do that, but it looks good right there. I like that. So I might leave off my corrugated element on this one because I like the beans. And I'm going to put one here. And we're almost really done with this card, guys. I did all of my stamping and my cutting before I got on camera with this one. That's cute. Okay, I think it needs a little something, so a little something is always some great wink of Stella. Wait, that's silver. I want the clear. Wink of Stella always give you a little bit of shimmer. So I'm going to shimmer up my beans a little bit here. And it'll make them look just a little darker also. Like a more of a chocolate coffee bean. I hope you've enjoyed my video and hanging out with me a little bit today. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And that's it for this card. Isn't that adorable? Wouldn't you just like to get this card in the mail just to have a nice day? Just to have a great day. Let me put my lid on there and let's look at these three cards. I did not use my corrugated element on this one. I really like using the coffee beans and I don't know if you could see that little right there, the shimmer of the Wink of Stella really makes it. I think I'm going to do my little heart that way too. Let me take some of that off. And I'm going to Wink of Stella my little heart there. Cute. Just go over it. Just like that. And we have a great card, guys. Just a really, really great card. Can you see that little shimmer with the... There it is. 
like that. Okay, here's my three cards from our suite, our coffee cafe suite. I used um, some, the ink colors I used were Pear Pizzazz and Soft Sky, and the straw is done in real red, and it's stamped off to give it that pink color. I love that. That was fun. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy this set. And um, if you would like to order it, please go to stampinginthevalley.com. Click on the big blue button and it will take you to my online store. Remember, these are the card kits I'm featuring this month. These are the two free ones that you receive when you place a $25 Stampin' Up! product order. Thanks again for watching and have a great crafting day.